Hello everyone, this is Dr. C and this is How to Use PowerPoint Insert Ribbon Part 2. The Insert Ribbon has a lot of different kinds of content you can add to PowerPoint. At first we're going to look at the header and footer. Now I'm going to get out of this mode <clears throat> and go to the Insert Ribbon and select Header and Footer. When you're in slide mode, you're really not going to add a header because you already have one. You have a title built into the slide. So you're really only going to add the footer. And when you do, <clears throat> you can see the little preview in the thumbnail on the lower right of this pop-up window where it shows you it's going to put slide number and that kind of thing. And it could put some text here like, um, I'll just call it um, the title of the footer, right? And let's apply it only to this one slide and take a look. See where it says title of the footer there? And the title. And it does it in this soft gray color. <clears throat> well, what if I wanted notes and handouts? I could put a title on my notes and handouts, a header. You just click here and you type it in. And then, of course, you can put in page numbers, a footer, some other instructions, even your name, so you have a copyright on it. Okay? Next. The smart art. This is a lot of fun, especially if you have to draw something for class, for a report, for a brochure, for a Word document, a newsletter, whatever. Right? So let's, um, let's take a look. This is a blank piece of paper. I'm going to go to the insert ribbon, click on smart art, and let's say we had three things we wanted to talk about and they had an equal relationship. So we selected mm, a cycle. And let's <coughs> excuse me. Let's say we selected this one. Well, that that looks kind of boring, doesn't it? And let's say I called this one uh, words. The next one, I could call it picture or photos or images. I'll call them photos this time, okay? And down here, I could have headers or headings or um, titles. I'll call them titles, okay? So let's say those were my three things. They're not stunning, but they'll do. I'll use the drop-down arrow, and I'm going to change the look of it and feel so I get a sense of it. Now I want to change the colors, don't I? That's kind of boring. So what if I wanted something like... See, it depends on whether I want some reds in there. <clears throat> I could select, I'm going to select this one so it looks different than my next example. Now, <clears throat> let's say I wanted something a little brighter than this blue. I'm going to click a couple of times just on the blue underneath titles. Okay. I'm going to go to the format. You notice I'm on the design ribbon. <clears throat> it automatically opened when I selected this shape. I'm going to go to format and say shape fill and change the color. Oh, that's bright might be too bright. <coughs> might lose some of my coolness factor, right? I'll select it. Maybe I'll select that one. Now I need to select the edge too, don't I? So I'm going to click on it a couple of times to make sure the blue edge is, is selected. And then I'm going to click on it again and click on that color. I'm going to do it one more time and say more fill colors. And I'm going to make it just a little lighter so it gives that contrast like the others have. So I've changed the colors, I've renamed it, and of course I could put in my text box, right? And say this is my smart art graphic, right? I'll just call it a graphic by Dr. C, right? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm sitting here choking, right? <laughs> it's always good. And then um, reaching around a microphone. And then of course I want to take this text and I want to center it, right? And then I want to grab that and the, and the graphic, the edges of it, right, the big box. And I want to align them so they're centered, right? And there we go. Now I could put a title <clears throat> on the top of my slide by changing to title only, right? And then I could say smart art example. And there we are. And let's see my next example. I'll <clears throat> go ahead and go back to the slideshow view. We'll take a look. And there we are. 
this has been a quick look at using the header and footer and the smart art. Thanks. See you next time.